Inside the Classroom takes an in-depth look at one of Team Hardin County School's best teachers in action, featuring comments, class instruction, and insight inside the classroom. I went to Center College um, in Danville, Kentucky, majored in visual arts um, with an emphasis in painting and, oil, and chalk pastel. Um, I actually went to high school in Norcross uh, High School in Atlanta, Georgia, but my family's from Bardstown, so I ended up in Kentucky, um, followed in my father's footsteps and went to Center. Um, I've been teaching art for 15 years. Uh, started off at Old Kentucky Home Middle School in Bardstown um, for seven years, and then um, I'm start doing my eighth year um, here at East. Color Wheel Cookie Quiz will be on Wednesday. Um, the color stuff on your element notes and also in the song, um, make sure you look that over. It's literally about stuff about this big, okay? So make sure you look that over. It's the color schemes. So you need to know what warm colors are, cool, and an example of those. We're going to be mixing three cookies per color scheme, okay? So you would, warm is red, yellow, and orange. Yeah, there we go. And then don't forget complimentary, we're just going to go two. Like so, just purple and its complement would be yellow. Or red and its complement would be green. And then analogous, where are they in the color wheel? Analogous are? Besides. Besides, neighbors. So, uh, so the, like, like red, red, orange, orange. So just make sure you know what the color schemes are, okay? Um, and that is Wednesday and we will get to work with our group to do that. Okay, but just make sure you're familiar with the color schemes before Wednesday. My mother was a family and consumer science teacher for 35 years, and um, she was always very awesome in her field, and she taught related arts, and I guess I just kind of followed in that footsteps. And then I, a student taught under Kate Bateman, and she kind of fueled my love for it as well, especially for this school in particular. Work with your table. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a giant placemat with vanilla wafers. And you're going to get the three primary colors and white. And you have to mix every color scheme from those. And then if you get the color schemes right, you get to split and eat whatever you get right. If you get it wrong, it goes in the bowl of shame. And that, that you don't get to eat. Okay? The bowl of shame gets thrown away. Miss Hazel doesn't eat the bowl of shame either. Typically, when we get a new group of students every nine weeks, we review the elements and principles of art and design every time they get in. Even if it's sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, it's the only thing we repeat content-wise through the years because it's kind of the building blocks of art. You think of the periodic table and the elements in science. This is like our version of that. Um, without line and shape, it's hard to complete an artwork. So the kids have to fundamentally understand those elements and principles. So they're uh, randomly assigned a word. I have a little app on my phone called pick sticks and we shake them and, and when a kid's name comes up they get a random word like proportion or um, emphasis or line, vertical line. And they have to illustrate it with a variety of media. They can choose chalk pastel, oil pastel, watercolor, acrylic, any media of their choice and they have to look up that definition out of either their notes that they have already taken. Um, we do an art element wrap which you'll probably see later, that they learn with all the elements. And then uh, I have these element and principle binders that they can look up their element and principle. It has all the art processes, basically everything we learn in the three years, and it's kind of a reference tool for them. Um, and then these are some of the projects kids have done. Uh, this person got radial balance, which is positioned around a central point, and they can choose anything. This person got vertical line, so they chose to do the buildings. Um, so that's just kind of what you will see today in the lesson. And they're sixth graders, by the way. Element song, starting with shape is 2D, get up. Oh. Remember, you're on the ground, I get to be on the table because I'm vertically challenged. All right. All right, ready? One, little energy this morning. I know it's early and it's Monday. One, two, three. Shape is 2D, flat as a flat. And form is 3D, shape they got. A line is made by a point that moves. An actual texture can have any group. Negative is the space in an empty cup. And positive is the space that we take up. Next is color, otherwise known as when colors change from light to dark, that's for you. Now finally we get to the color schemes. There are lots to choose from, Manuel. Red, yellow, and orange are word just to name up. 
few, and the cool colors are green, purple, and blue. Red, blue, and yellow are the primary. You mixed to, to get the secondary. Analogous are neighbors on the wheel that goes around. Complementary colors look. Slow it down. Monochromatic. Mono means one. Different values of one color is much more fun. Now we know the seven elements of art. This new knowledge makes us very smart. Awesome. Have a seat. Put it away. Miss Hazel is definitely an effective teacher. Um, and what's really neat about Miss Hazel is that she gets to see all of our students every single year in art. And um, just from talking to students and parents, all students are excited to go to art every quarter. They want to know if they can stay in there more than one quarter. Um, and every time you walk in her classroom, uh, all students are engaged. Um, they are happy, they are engaged in their projects, and they just have a lot of fun in that class. And she makes kids who don't like art love art by the end of their quarter. You may get the supplies you need. Um, if you need uh, paint brushes and water for watercolor, it, uh, I've already made some brushes over here. I just need to put some smaller ones in real quick. Um, remember, if you're using chalk pastel or watercolor today, you need to go visit the plastic box and get you a piece of plastic to put under your work. Don't forget drawing boards are over behind green table. Um, if you finish, there is actually an assignment in classroom under project one that you upload it. And these are large, so I would put them on the floor and take a, a vertical picture like this to upload. So you will upload when done, okay? You all might not finish today. Whatever we don't finish today, we'll finish tomorrow. Nobody, nobody needs to worry if they don't finish. Sound good? All right, uh, don't forget watercolors, Sharpies, oil pastel, chop pastels. You just need one box per table. Markers, colored pencils, really good permanent colored markers. Yeah. Okay, and then some markers and colored pencils should be in your caddies as well. Any questions before we start? No, All right, go. I've had Miss Hazel for sixth grade and seventh grade art. She's like really energetic. Like we do this song and she'll jump up on the table and sing with us. Um, it's, e it's easy to learn from her because like she explains it in like a, not some like real higher like sciencey thing like it's easier to understand the way she explains it chop pastels yeah. which one do you think would look better i think oil would look nice because you have so many different components with little bitty yeah. features so chalk it would get real smeary so oil so oil yeah and there's drawing boards you might need a smooth surface to get a drawing board she's an effective teacher because she really knows how to um, socialize and be energetic and um, just she's a really good teacher with every one of her students. Oh I love texture. it it's a shark airplane. I have actual texture. Okay so what are we gonna are we gonna glue something on what are you gonna use for the texture part? Cotton. I was gonna make the cotton. cotton? The most special thing about Miss Hazel's classroom is basically she teaches in almost a completely different way than most teachers. Like, since she has a humongous room, she can like do a whole lot more than just sit in the desk or walk around a board and go like, well, that, cause like she'll, she'll jump up. She'll be like, okay, you gotta do this. She'll um, let children, um, she'll let them behind her desk to be like clickers. And um, she'll just do most things that most ordinary teachers don't do. Should I do like an ombre for the water that go from light to dark? Yeah, that'd be good. And when you work with pastels, remember to layer onto the other. I love um, socializing with other kids, and I get to express myself in her class. Um, like, I like to express my emotions in my art because Miss Hazel, Miss Hazel taught me how to do that, and I love her for that. She's a great teacher. So you might need to make to wait two or three minutes. Um, you know, it'd be cool if they're really. You know, I think colorful would be cool. I'm trying to think of anything else white I have. So we could take like just dump these out. So you're making puffy clouds. Cool. Make sure you write the word actual texture somewhere on here. So why don't you let this heat up for two or three minutes? 
go write actual texture and then you can come back and do your gluing and then once you glue them on maybe you could take one of these nice markers and like outline your lines or something would that be cool I would write it down at the bottom where you have all that negative space I think for some of these kids I am the sole provider of their culture I mean they might never go to a museum they might never leave Glendale Kentucky um, they never may never visit the Speed Museum or um, the MoMA. And to me, I'm opening their world. Um, there was a quote from uh, Mr. Holland's opus that said, if you take the arts out of schools, there'll be nothing to read or write about. I feel like art provides the culture and the, the meat of what they need to write about, and it makes them well-rounded. And to understand their world outside of themselves, other cultures, other influences, and to be able to respect those. I have to do it. Upload with our own devices. Yeah. Okay. Are you hooked up to the PodNet? What happened here? What happened there? Uh, I mean, it looks like I, I colored neat and then we got a little. Yeah, it got a little. Why don't you put a drawing board underneath of it and go one more time over it just to make it? Because to me, it looks like so neat and then we're like, I got to finish. You know. <laughs> You need to go over your word in, in marker or something too, darker, like, you know, just so it's not pencil. Miss Hazel meets all needs of students. Um, she differentiates for them by helping them, um, by giving them modified assignments. Um, she is just, uh, she sings things, she makes up songs for them to remember things. Um, so she meets all the uh, types of learner from auditorial, auditory, visual. Um, so she just does a great job of meeting all the needs of her students and they aren't scared to go into that art room. If I try to make this bigger, it almost look too funny. I don't think it needs to be big, bigger. Put radial balance. It's um, Is, analogous. Oh, it looks like radial balance. Well, so then just put an said, analogous up here. I was going to do like different shades of purple. Perfect. Well, that's monochromatic. Be careful. Let me get you a color wheel. Does anyone need a color wheel, color scheme, people? Anybody need color? I, might, I, might. Yeah. I was going to do Okay. Like so those. these are, yes. Yeah, yeah. So red, violet, violet, blue, violet. Now, you might find those all in the little new Sharpie box. Art class kind of allows me to express myself because, like, she doesn't give you, like, this specific thing you draw. She lets you pick the thing that you draw, not just, oh, yeah, you draw a pencil. No, but she says, well, you draw this, but it has to be this certain topic. Well, you could either do the insides with colored pencil and the outside with marker, or you could take the three markers and do it however you want. I enjoy painting and doing all the projects. She has a new project almost every week, um, and so it's fun to switch things up. Hey, look at this, Sadie. Check this out. Blue, violet, red, violet, violet. Yeah. Um, since I'm doing birds, and like I want to do the the like the feathers blue. What's your word? Monochromatic. What different do do shades of blue? Do I like all some orange or? You have to go. Everything you you use needs to be a shade of blue. Okay. I really enjoy basically the um like the way she'll jump up and um because one second she'll be walking around the class helping people with something. And then next second she will jump up and start like um, trying to get your attention. And she's, she's, like I said before, she's she has a different style of teaching, and that style is fun. And she makes drawing and doing all that art stuff and learning art is makes it fun. Hey, you don't have to color that that hard because look. No, 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 you're not. Look, you, you just take your hand. Yeah, I mean, and you just, that looks like an orange compared to that. well, it's a little more red orange than the maroon. Um, when she like shows us like an example, um, it like makes me want to do more. And uh, she really like expresses herself, and that wants us to express ourselves as well. Select files from this computer. Yeah. Photo library. And the iPad is dirty right here. Is that it? Yeah. And it's guys, sideways. please don't forget to upload your sketchbooks. It's sideways. Yeah. That's okay. I can go like this. Okay. Upload, turn in, and then it will pop up there. There'll be a little mini picture of yours. And when it uploads, press turn in and turn in one more time. Anyone need upload advice? When they come in as a sixth grader, they think art. I can draw or I can't. 
period. And I either like it or I don't. I'm good at it and I'm not. And that's not how it is. Um, and I always tell them I grade on effort, not, you know, technical ability. So we do, I think it's important, you know, you might not uh, be able to draw, but you could put together a really awesome clay piece. Uh, Two-dimensional and three-dimensional art is very different. So just because you're good at one media doesn't mean you're great at another. This I gave you, there's 112 choices. And in, in, in a little sketchbook or with little drawing paper, you just draw one idea a week. And there's all kinds of drawings, like draw a table and chair, draw a portrait, draw your greatest fear, or free draw. So you can take five or 10 minutes today and get that done if you want. Um, or you can do it when you get home today and it will still count if you upload from home. If you have, do you have the capabilities of uploading from home? Do you have a sketchbook yet? Yeah, I have one. Okay, why don't you just do it when you get home and upload it? Okay. If you don't have time today. Art is definitely important because it kind of takes you outside of the textbook, I guess you could say. Um, and, and kids need a chance that uh, can put their thoughts and, and what they're going through on paper um, as far as drawing. Um, and they also don't often have opportunities to be creative and so she allows students to be creative almost daily um, and so that's why students ne need art they need to appreciate art around them as well and she does a great job of making them appreciate art around them so there's only two shades of blue how do i so you just go darker the more water the lighter it is so put less water to be dark and then add water to be a little lighter and then do this one for your lightest and make a little swimming pool of water in there before I used to not like art um, that much, but she changed my outlook on art pretty well. Um, she made it really fun, and now I like it a lot. These are really good. That's what you need. So make you a swimming pool like this. Well, what do you want to be the darkest value? The belly or, or the head? I would treat it as individual shapes, so like go dark, medium, light, or something like that. Oh, okay. So what do you want to be the darkest? Uh, the body. Okay, so the darkest value is going to look like this, okay? Uh -huh. If I add a little more water, where do you want to be medium? Where? The wing. Okay. So look, we're getting a little lighter, see? Uh -huh. And then when we get, where's the lightest value? Uh, the head. Okay, and then there's the lightest. And if you take a paper towel before it dries, you can get it really light. See? Okay. Are we good? Art's important in a way that lets you socialize and like draw and like it's kind of like a fun class, sort of. Oh wow, I love that. Hold on, I don't want that bunny to smear. Like her conversations, like she inspires us, she like gives us motivation. Um, she is really good at communicating with other kids, I will say that. Ooh, beautiful, what's your word? Tent. You need to write tent somewhere. I don't oh, know. you did, on the mountain, oh, pretty. These are so cool. Miss Hazel is very um, active uh, staff member. She is our culture uh, committee leader. She um, sponsors and kind of does all of our uh, team pride rallies here, gets our kids engaged in competitions between their grade levels. She sponsors service challenges uh, every quarter. Um, and then she also is one of our beta sponsors. And um, our beta club is very competitive. Um, she kind of leads up our group talent and um, is very competitive when she goes um, to the beta convention in places almost every time. So we're very um, thankful for her time outside of the classroom to help our, our school. It's not horrible. I like the concept. The parking lot looks great. It's because the Staples Center is leaning. <laughs> like you probably should have made it that way. Well, the parking lot, it, it, the perspective is the cars are coming in this way, but the, but the building should be straight. That's, your, that's the issue, I think. Now there's a couple, if you want to fix the crooked building, the, the easiest way to fix it is to cut a piece of white paper, like right here, and put it over it, if it bothers you that much. If it doesn't, just work on the color a little bit. It's asymmetrical balance, so you, I would just make it a little bit darker, like maybe go back in with the blue. But the parking lot part looks really good. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy basically the, um, like, the way she'll jump up and, um, because 
one second she'll be walking around the class helping people with something, and then next second she will jump up and start like um, trying to get your attention. And she's, she's, like I said before, she's she has a different style of teaching, and that style is fun. And she makes drawing and doing all that art stuff and learning art is makes it fun. I need help what color to color my octopus and my fish and my jellyfish. So it's intermediate. Red orange would be good. She he would show up. Yellow orange ooh yellow orange would probably show up. Okay, so I'm going to do yellow orange for my octopus. See and if you press hard, you can see it. It's important to switch up the projects because sometimes you can get to um, it's too boring to do the same things over and over again, but once you do it once or once um, it's really fun. Um, right now we're doing words where you write down your word and then you paint. You can color with markers or crayons or whatever you would like. If you are done and you already uploaded your project, put it back in the folder unless it is wet. It, if it is wet, it goes in the drying rack. There's two drying racks it can go in. Listen. I like to display these for a little bit. You will get to take home everything you do in here, but I go through the folders after every project is done and pick a few to hang up. And then once I do that, I tell everybody else they can take theirs home. And then if I displayed yours, then you can take yours home a little later. Sound good? She kind of helps me. Like if I bat, like if I have trouble with like a project or something, she helps me. She gives me advice. Sometimes she may even do it for me. If you don't finish today, still put them back in the folder and we will get some time tomorrow. And we're also going to review for our cookie quiz tomorrow too, oh okay? I'm scared about that. No, it's fun. And you get an edible quiz is always entertaining. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Hey, just put yours in the drying rack if you need to let it dry. Um, I need help though. Okay. I'll be there in a sec. What? Yes. Yeah. Do you need me? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, pretty. What do I do with the belly? Do I just put them white? Just do another light, like just pick this color again and go here. Oh, okay. Project wise, we do a lot of clay work and like sculpting. Um, last year we made these clay monsters. Um, they were really cool. I thought that was really cool. Um, and this year we're making these little trays that like has something to do with like our style of life and. That's, that's definitely something I really like. Oh, I'm so scared of clowns, but it's a beautiful use of space. You did a good job. 100. Now, you can still upload the picture. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't late. I think my energy. Um, I, I, sometimes I stand on tables and dance. And, you know, I think that I just want to provide um, fun for them. Even if, if art's not particularly an area they care for, I want to keep it interesting. I want them to come away with at least one thing they did that they'll never forget. Um, and like I said, I just want to provide that culture for them and that positive person in their life uh, that's there. Maybe when, maybe if they're not good at math and science, they can come and feel good and uh, successful in an area like art. What? How would you draw a piece of paper like on its side? Like this? Like, like how? Like you, like you would angle it pretty much like you did, okay? And then make sure that, that all these angles are parallel. So that angle will be here. And then this angle will go up here like that. Okay. Wait, no, never mind. There we go. Then it will go up like that, like a piece okay. of cheese, kind of. I like clay work because, like, it'll give you um, a whole wide variety of, like, what you want to do. Because, like, say she's saying that we can make cups. But you can also make cups that have little faces or cups that have, like, a little thing just, like, running around it. And, like... Because she will let you do those. She won't just specifically say, all right, you got to make a cup. Don't add anything else. Like, she'll let you paint different stuff. She will let you do a whole lot more than she asks. Can I outline the trees, or should I just leave it? I kind of like um, the edges rough, because it looks like an actual tree. What shows the most through Miss Hazel is her enthusiasm and um, just her passion for her subject area. Um, you can tell all kids just love her. Um, even the worst behaved kids can just go in there and do exactly what they're supposed to do. She just gets them on board um, by the things that she does in, in her classroom. It's just engaging every day and kids really appreciate it.
appreciate that. Oh, did you see that YouTube video? There was a high school girl that dunked and um, like crazy dunk, and um, no one was expecting it, and the whole gym went nuts. They were just like running. I forgot. I, I'll see if I can find her and show it to you. It was really cool. I mean, she was like. Whew, it was awesome. It was. Aw I've never seen a girl do that. Well, except for gr um, what's her name, Grider, Brittany uh, Grider, that played for uh, oh, what's his Oregon maybe. Teachers, I, mean, I think they're they're sometimes the most positive role model any of these kids can have. Um, sometimes, um, you know, the, uh, there's there's unique family situations, and sometimes they feel like a teacher is the one person they can go to. So I really want to be that person for kids. Every day uh, when she leaves here, she has paint all over her. She has plaster all over her. And it's because she cares so much for our students. Um, I think what, not only she's a, a, a great art teacher, but she forms relationships with kids. And um, you can tell it. Miss Hazel has that certain effect on people that um, makes you just say, because if you like, in three years from now, when I'm in high school, I can see her, like, if I see her, out in like a store giving art supplies, I'm like, I'll know who she is because she, I'll remember her. She was one of the most fun teachers I've had so far. I remember her as I get older because she was a, she's a really, really good teacher and she has, um, she's my, one of my role models that I, I do look up to. Miss Hazel is like my favorite teacher because she, like, my brothers had her, and they loved her, and I love her even more because she just, she really inspires me, and I like having her in the mornings because when she inspires me, I feel great about myself the rest of the day, and it just, I, like, she lightens up my day. Got word lately that one of my uh, students from a few years back is now majoring in art education at UK and is planning to be art teacher, and she always tells me I was the main influence in her life. So.